Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Aren't you excited? Monday, the best day of the week. In a minute. One second. We're going to make it a good day here. One second. And a Tim card. Thank you. Just like that. And then we go to the garbage can. We throw out yesterday's Timmy. And we're done. Now all we gotta do is get that inside my stomach and it's gonna be a good day. It doesn't necessarily have to be Tim's either. I'm gonna go out and say it here. I know I'm gonna shock you. Get ready to have your jaw hit the floor. In order to have a good day, you could just have Starbucks. It didn't sound right coming out of my mouth, did it? I feel like I need mouthwash. But I'm, I'm, uh, we have a Starbucks in town now. I tried it out the other day. You probably saw it in my video. I kind of liked it. It was all right. It was a good coffee. Uh, it was a little expensive, and they got a whole bunch of other stuff there that I don't understand. The Frappadappuccinos. You know, I just want a coffee. I go there, and they got funny names for things too, right? It's not a, it's not a large coffee. It's a grande, grande coffee. What? No, just give me a large coffee. Yeah, just keep it simple, man. It's too early for that stuff. <laughs> well, good coffee. I mean, I've had Dunkin' Donuts in the U.S. too. And uh, I would compare Dunkin' Donuts coffee to Tim's coffee. Very much the same kind of establishment, you know, coffee and donuts. Uh, who else has got good coffee? Who's your favorite? What's your favorite coffee? All right, let me know down below in the comments. Like, what's your favorite coffee? It doesn't matter what coffee it is. As long as you have a coffee, it's going to be a good day. And hey, if you're not a coffee drinker, still going to be a good day anyway. You just got to find a different way of getting off on the right foot. What do you do first thing in the morning? What do you like to do every morning? that ensures you will have a good day if it's not a cup of coffee, okay? Let the rest of us know so that we can all have a good day. Let the fun begin, right? Just about ready to get this week on the road. I'm gonna sneak in here, just sneak right in here, sneak right in. Oh, big bump. <sighs> so I have about a 35 minute commute uh, into work every day, which isn't too bad, isn't too bad. I've actually uh, realized I, I enjoy that time. I enjoy the time I get to have my coffee, listen to my podcasts on the radio, and uh, so get myself mentally ready for the day so that I'm not just hopping straight into it, right? I got a little bit of time to hype myself up before I get here. If that's what you want to call it. Okay, I'm bald, so I have to uh, keep my head warm. It's still a little chilly in the mornings here. I don't regret it, though. I like it. It's so much less maintenance. I trimmed my beard down, too. It was getting a little bit long... And once it gets to that length, it starts becoming, uh, again, more maintenance. And in the mornings, I don't want to have to worry about that. I just want to go to work and start trucking. <laughs> Monday morning brings us a step deck with a very wobbly while they're wavy side here. You see that? Interesting. wonder how this would happen. This almost looks like it's warped. Or it's just been hit repeatedly again and again. Very hard. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I see a piece of wood there. I think I can grab it from the other side. Lights are working. Air in the tires. Air in the bags. No, there's not. We're gonna have to figure out why. ABS lid is off. That's good. Lights working. 
and some more of this right here. Someone released all the air. Whoever dropped this trailer is one of those drivers that dumps the air. Some drivers do that, so uh, make sure you always check to make sure there's air in the bags. There we go, they're filling up now. They do that, usually, usually you would just do that when you have a load on it and you're dropping it loaded so that if there's an air leak and the airbags slowly deflate, that puts pressure up here on the landing gear. A lot of pressure if it's sitting on the ground, right? If you don't first deflate them. If it's empty, personally, I don't think it's as critical, but it, it's a good habit to be in, right? It's a good habit, so I'm not gonna knock anybody for a good habit. Just always check the air. Make sure there's air in the trailer and air in the bags. Oh, all right. All right. All right. What is holding my seatbelt? There we go. Ah, oh, they sent the load info through to my computer here. We are picking up in Steinbach. Going to my hometown, Steinbach. Bringing it back here. It's got to be delivered in Winnipeg tomorrow, so I'm guessing I might be delivering it tomorrow. Who knows? barriers and they're heavier than I thought they were I'm gonna need two straps per row here they're about 2100 pounds each and as you can tell on these straps here where's the show they're good for about 5400 pounds so across here is two four six eight about 8400 pounds so I'm gonna need two straps per four I could get away with one on here but since it's at the front I'm gonna put two on here as well Just prevent that from sliding forward in case if you know Bambi decides to surprise me jump out in front of me I can slam on my brakes and know that these aren't going to move 
crashing into my cab. And we got just the one single back here. Again, you could get away with just one strap, weight-wise, but since it's at the back, and I can't really see it well from my cab, I got a back window, but most people wouldn't. I'd put two straps over this for sure, just to make sure the back one doesn't end up uh, meeting somebody on the highway behind me, you know what I mean? Because if this one strap fails, Somebody's gonna pay the price behind me. I mean, these are cement. They're probably pretty heavy. They probably wouldn't go anywhere even if I wouldn't tie them down, but are you gonna risk that? I'm not gonna risk that. I'm not crazy. I'm a little crazy, but not that crazy. All loaded up and tied down. That was a red light, my friend. Whew. That was solid. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Pulling this back to the yard. I'm not sure who's gonna be pulling it into Winnipeg tomorrow morning. Might be me. Part three for me. 
part two for you. Part two for me was delivering a load of shingles into Winnipeg, but I was selfish and I kept that one all to myself and didn't film it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we got these, uh, these things. It's a pole trailer. Uh oh. You see these poles over here? They get loaded in there. So it's sort of like a logging trailer, but it's not a permanent logging trailer. You see what I mean? These are all chained in here. I'm supposed to make sure that these are all nicely chained in. Take the tandem. That's the tandem. And I'm gonna bring it into uh, Winnipeg uh, to Manitoba Hydro. And, uh, again, for my American friends, when we say hydro here in Manitoba, we mean electricity. Manitoba Hydro is the power company in, Man in Manitoba here. It's all hydroelectric power uh, by dams up north. So it's called Manitoba Hydro. It's actually some of the cleanest electricity in North America and the world. Manitoba doesn't have any coal or gas power plants, as far as I know. I mean, I don't speak for the whole province. Maybe I should check this out before I talk to you. But most of our electricity, if not all of it, comes from hydro dams up north. So the only damage would be, I guess, to the local ecosystems where you dam up the river. But in my opinion, it creates new ecosystems for new, new animals, right? It's better than pumping a bunch of stuff into the atmosphere. This way you just dam up a river and then you let it go at your own pace and that creates electricity. I don't know, I think they, I think it's, I don't know, I'm told it's very good. But I've been told lots of things. And I am not the smartest man in the world. I don't care what you think of me, it's not me. So if you haven't figured it out already, uh, we're loading up hydro poles. But I'm just dropping the trailer there, they're gonna load it up whenever they want to, and I will go pick it up then. I haven't actually picked up a load of hydro poles there yet. But uh, I do know we do it. I'm just gonna check the chains on the other side there. I walked right past them before I was too busy trying to act smart like I knew something about electricity here. <laughs> I have no idea. Don't take anything I say like that as fact. But uh, it's tied down nice and tight, chained down nice and tight. Check these here again. Okay, I'm more of an entertainment channel. I've gotta remind everybody of this every now and then. I'm more of an entertainment channel. I want to entertain you and uh, give you some pointers along the way, but just, you know, double check everything I say. I'm not perfect. other trailers here with similar setups so our trailer has friends that's good that's good they can all hang out together here
ask questions. I just do as I'm told. I seriously thought that this coming weekend, the next weekend, was May long weekend here in Canada. And Britt and I got ourselves excited at first. We uh, looked up May long weekend on the internet. For some reason, the internet gave us uh, Australia's May long weekend, which was this last weekend. We're like, whoa, was it a long weekend? No. Can't let myself get too excited. That's Australia. So I hope you guys enjoyed your long weekend. We had to go back to work. Our long weekend only is only on May 24th is in like three weekends from now. Disappointing. It's not next weekend, huh? It's not the next weekend either. Huh? It's a weekend after that. Then we get a May long weekend. It's not like we can do anything fun anyways because we're not allowed to have fun. Everything is... Uh, not everything, but most things are shut down. But we will make the most of it. We'll probably just go to our land and uh, continue working on that, clearing that up, digging some roots out. Maybe I should see if I can rent that excavator for that weekend. That'd be a good use of a long weekend. I still want to talk to you guys about bull snot sometime soon. I have it here with me already. I've just been waiting for the right time to... Uh... We're going to see, look, we got this Polish Detail Cleaner and Polish. It's called Polishable. Bull snot. Polishable. We've got tire butter and conditioner. This is supposed to make your tires shine even if you drive on gravel afterwards, it's supposed to keep the shine. It's called Shinable. What else we got here? We got uh, glass cleaner. No streaks guaranteed. I was told that you can't get streaks on your, win on your windows even if you try with this. So we're going to give this a shot sometime this week yet. It's called Visible. And one more. This is Odor Eliminator. This we've actually tried at home already. Uh, Frank, big Frank, uh, the commander had an accident on the couch. It was, uh, it was a number two at a very inappropriate time in an inappropriate place, right on our couch. So it stank and it soaked into the couch because he didn't notice it right away. Uh, it didn't get smushed in, but you know, left a little bit of a not so pleasant odor this we sprayed on it instantly it actually did work it's called blastable the odor eliminator the ultimate scent killer so uh, we're gonna be talking about these products more this week I am working together with them one second here I am working together with them uh, they sent me a few products to try out and I'm going to give them an honest try and show you how they work. So far, uh, the only one I can guarantee that uh, works 100% like they say it does is the Odor Eliminator. But from what I've seen from all the reviews of all their other products, I can pretty much guarantee just off their reviews that every single one of their products is going to work just as good as well. But I'm, I'm excited to try them out. I'm going to use it on my uh, semi-truck here. I'm going to use it on my pickup, especially the tire butter. As soon as I get a chance, I've just been really busy right now, but I'll give them an honest review for you. Uh, and these uh, uh, bull snot products are going to take over from my regular cleaning products that I always carry with me everywhere. Just the stuff you can get at Walmart and stuff. It's, I try a different brand every time, but we got quite a bit of this bull snot to try out. So uh, I am pretty confident that it's going to do what they say it does. I've seen many reviews on it already. Tony Justice uses it and swears by it. So uh, I'm excited to try it as well. Ooh, these Western Stars, they got that uh, those two clamps or uh, brackets that hold up that airflow 
the fiberglass airflow piece on the top that connected to the cab those pieces those brackets always rust and then it makes our trucks look so rusty but it's not actually the truck it's just coming off of those brackets it's unfortunate they've been fixing it though I guess it wasn't stainless steel that was used from the manufacturer I remember that when I had my truck too they started rusting like that almost right away there's a few things on those Western Stars that were uh, oh, a little bit of bad design or bad parts used. Like I had some leaking in my truck inside. So, you know, the Western Stars weren't really my favorite truck. Uh, they seemed to have issues when I had mine. Little issues like that, nothing big, but you know, it could be worse. You could have engine issues. I just had issues with those brackets rusting and water coming into my cab. Hey Chevy. Hey Diesel. You guys missed the Rockstar welcome. Sorry, you weren't ready for it. You gotta be ready. Took these guys outside. Now it's time for me to shower up and get ready. Get ready to sit right there. That's my spot. That's my cat. Spot. Unless Brit's not here, then I guess technically this. Then then I can have any spot I want. Lucky me. Brit's at work right now. She'll be done in about 20 minutes. And then home shortly after. So she'll be home probably in like half an hour. You guys want to add anything to today's video? I came to Steinbach today. I came back here. I was here with the big truck. Did you hear me? Is that what that noise was? No, that was me. Did it sound like... You hear that one? Yeah, you, yeah, that was me. That was me. It is, yeah, it sounded good, didn't it? It was very nice, I know. I picked up cement and I brought it back to where I work. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't do many pickups in Steinbeck, really, so it's kind of cool. Came here and then dropped those shingles off in Winnipeg and then uh, dropped that one log trailer off at Hydro in Winnipeg and that was the day. So I'm gonna go and hop in the shower now and enjoy my evening. Sorry, Brett's not here today, but uh, I've gotta get this put together so that we can enjoy our evening when she does get here. So, we'll talk to you later. Take care and don't forget to tune in tomorrow. You know the drill, hit the like button, it helps out the channel a lot, share it with your friends, it helps out the channel a lot. If you want early access, you can become a Patreon member down below, you get early access. Sometimes you get a whole day early from everybody else. Usually I post it there as soon as it's on the internet and that could be the evening before or the morning Before I release it. It's early early access and we're working on a few other goodies to offer there as well but The easiest thing and the, the free thing to do is just give it a thumbs up really appreciate that That's all I ask just a thumbs up Talk to you tomorrow. We're gonna do some more trucking